one thing I'm kind of proud of is that in 1989, when I was president, we had just gone through a big fiasco with a failed project, and I went down to the fairgrounds and talked to Tom Neely, or Claude Neely, and talked to him about doing the beer booth. And so that summer was the first year that we took over the beer booth. We made more money in that project than we had done in anything else we'd done. And we're still doing the beer, beer booth. I understand they just did it this year, and I think that's great. It's a good way to make money. Um, another thing I'm pretty proud of is the club donated $1,000 to the Laurel Society for me. And I thought that was really a good honor. And I have the pin and wear it to the club all the time. And I think that's kind of nice. Um, the first year I was president, my project was um, supporting a young woman in the Philippines when she was going to nursing school. And she was able to graduate, and we followed her for a couple of years after that. And that was a good project. The fact that these girls are still busier today than we were back then. They do more projects, they're involved with the youth, and I think that's great. And I think it's kind of nice that we've gone a little more casual. We don't have to show up in uh, long dresses and <laughs> get all dressed up to go to anything for Seroptimus now. It's kind of nice to be casual. And what would you tell young women considering joining Seroptimus today? Do it. You'll never regret it. It's uh, a lifetime thing. You meet friends that you keep all your life. You may not see these people more than once or twice in 10 years, but they, you still remember them. You still know who they are, where you met them. And I've made lifelong friends through Seroptimus. And still go when I can, when I'm home. <laughs>